In this problem, we're given the electric potential as a function of x, y, and z, and we're asked to find the electric field. The equation on the formula sheet that you would use would be ex is negative partial v with respect to x. In general, for three dimensions, the electric field vector is minus the gradient of the voltage, which means that you take the derivative with respect to x, and it has the i hat component, derivative with respect to y, the j hat component, and the derivative with respect to z, or the k hat component. Notice that the electric field is a vector, whereas the voltage is a scalar, but the gradient operator is what turns the voltage into a vector. So let's go ahead and work out each component. We simply take the derivative of v with respect to x, treating y and z as constants. So let's write our function out here. And taking the derivative just with respect to x, we get 5 minus 6xy. That's it. In the y direction, similarly, we need to take the derivative with respect to y, treating x and z as constants. And don't forget the negative sign. So the second term has a y in it. Pick up 3x squared. And the third term also has a y. Carrying on in the z direction. Let's just go ahead and do it. So the derivative with respect to z is just that last term has a z in it. So it's 4yz. So those are the components of the electric field. Now it's asking for the magnitude of the electric field at a particular point. So we need to evaluate these components at that point. So let's go ahead and up back to here and sub in. For x, we sub in 1. For y, we sub in 0. So the x component is just negative 5. Similarly here, for x, we sub in 1. And for z, we sub in negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. So the y component is also negative 5. And the z component is 0. So if we were to write our vector in terms of its components, we would write negative 5, negative 5, 0. To find the magnitude, simply take the square root of each of those components squared. which is the square root of 50, which works out to be 7.07 .07 newtons per coulomb.